right, welcome back everybody. It is I, Sean, the American in Krakow, off for another breakfast adventure. Yes, I am back on the bike. Yes, it is raining. Yes, I'm getting wet. <laughs> I couldn't say how many more. I needed to go out and get a breakfast. Well, my tires are cold, the road is wet, and that's a very big crosswalk right on the other side of this, so I will be taking my time and staying as vertical as possible through it, because I've hit that on a sunny day with just a strip of water, and my back end came out on me. Oh yeah, I didn't talk about where we're going for breakfast today, and it may not even happen. <laughs> we're going to a place called Bagel Mama. Um, there should be a New York style bagel place. I have been there, but a few years ago, and I haven't been back since, um, because they were closed for a while, and I wasn't sure if it was renovation or moving, um, yeah, I don't really know what happened there, but they were closed, and then I started seeing posts again from people recently, like a month or two ago. Um, about eating there, so I figured I would go and check it out because it's it's been a while, and I do miss a good bagel. I mean, I've had bagels like you know Blossom and Vessel. They all do bagels, but there there's something different. It's not a I don't even want to say a New York style bagel, but but it is. Even just bagels in general in the U.S. are a bit different than here. They seem a little smaller, a little bit more tender? Less, sub less substantial, maybe, might be the right word. They're kind of flimsy. Nothing, again, nothing wrong with a bagel. I do enjoy them. I just haven't had the, a good New York style bagel. And, if I'm not mistaken, they used to do a New York style cheesecake, which is rare here. You'll see cheesecake on every menu, but it's not cheesecake as an American would uh, expect. Um, in Polish, I think it's pronounced sernik, S-E-R-N-I-K. And it is a cheesecake. It's just looser. Um, it's not as firm or as smooth as a American or a New York style cheesecake, like a Philadelphia cream cheese cheesecake. Oh my God, from Junior's. Um, and they do do one. I've had it before, again, before they closed, and it was pretty good. And um, I might have cheesecake for breakfast today. You never know. Things happen. I don't really have a backup. Whoa, I was just attacked by pigeons. <laughs> that was kind of scary. I wasn't sure they were going to pull up. It was like one of those movies with a plane. Like, we're not going to make it. Pull up. They made it. <laughs> but I do want my bagel. Or at least I want my breakfast. Maybe I'll change my mind when I get there, but I'm hungry. All right, so it should be some... Oh, Bagel Mama. Right there. And they are open. Me happy. Me getting breakfast. And here we are inside Bagel Mama. I'm telling you, definitely a New York style bagel place here in Krakow. It's here in Kashmir. Uh, I've eaten here a few times way back in the day when I first moved here. Super excited about it.
and we were just finishing up our breakfast at Bagel Mama. Uh, I can't tell you how glad I am this place is open again. I just had the John McEnroe. It was spot on. No complaints from me. Gotta check this place out. I'm definitely coming back to Bagel Mama. Peace. All right, welcome back, everybody. It is I, Sean, just finishing up his uh, breakfast at Bagel Mama. And let me tell you, it was every bit as good as it was that I remembered. I had the uh, John McEnroe bagel, uh, which is a turkey bagel, basically, with like a, not cold cut turkey, but like baked sliced turkey. It was really good. Uh, flat white, as usual. Uh, fresh squeezed orange juice. And, oh, a brownie. I wanted the cheesecake, and unfortunately... They had just got sold the last cheese slice of cheesecake earlier for the day. So I ended up having a brownie, which was great. It was so nice to have a proper American-style brownie with walnuts in it. It was, it was really good. Oh, man. And the vibe there. It's cool, dude. It's a cool place. Uh, the guy that owns it is actually um, an American. He is originally from, you know, the States. He lives here in Poland now for quite a few years, but quite a cool dude, real cool dude. I'm glad I was uh, there and had a nice little conversation with him. And I'm, I'm glad that he's back open. I, I really missed having a proper New York style bagel. Um, I will probably be heading back there this weekend if the weather uh, cooperates. Now I'm off to my dealer. I need them to uh, scan the computer on the bike, on the FTR from when I did the oil change uh, a couple weeks ago. They need to reset the computer and ensure that it was done and scanned it into the warranty system. Um, yeah, so I'm on my way there now. Plus, while I'm there, I'm gonna ask them about the EFTR. I was already like looking for a dirt bike for my son. You know, he's eight, gonna be nine soon. And uh, yeah, instead of getting him like a Yamaha or uh, Kawasaki or something. Maybe I'll get them all the uh, EFTR. Um, the pricing is very reasonable, at least online pricing. We'll see what pricing in Poland is. Um, but if it's yeah, if it's anything like what I'm thinking it might be, uh, I might pick that up. It's got two power settings on it. And uh, I think the bike can range anywhere from two and a half to three hours of use on low power to maybe an hour or just over an hour on the high power. It's rated for up to 80 kilos. And uh, you can adjust for height. I think there's a high and low setting even for height. So this, this might be the way to go. I don't know. I have a feeling that, uh, I, I don't know. I've seen photos of it. That's, I, it looks interesting. Build quality is not actually made by Indian, as far as I'm aware. They partnered with um, Razor Scooters, Razor, um, who already makes uh, an electric dirt bike for kids. So I think they just uh, took that design and modified it, because it really does look like a version of the FTR, which would be kind of cool, too. I mean, I'm not going to lie. My son riding the same bike as me would be uh, pretty chill. And then eventually then my daughter. I'm pretty sure my daughter's going to take to it. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll talk to them while I'm there. Super happy that I uh, stopped off at Bagel Mama. Like, uh, yeah, so the owner was telling me that this weekend they're doing a little special menu. Um, and he's adding like a falafel burger just for the weekend. But he's doing like a homemade sriracha mayonnaise to uh, dress it with it looks it sounded pretty enticing and it might give me a chance to get that slice of cheesecake so I will probably be eating a bagel mama again this weekend as long as it's not torrential downpour uh, yeah I think it's gonna happen hey look the sun is coming out oh that might not be too good I'm pretty sure I have the uh, the camera's slightly overexposed because I was expecting a cloudy, overcast day.
but we'll see what the footage looks like. I'm pretty sure it'll be usable either way. Hopefully enough that I can fix and post. And here we are at my uh, Indian dealer. So here we are at the Indian dealer, getting the service on the FTR done. It's going to take a couple, couple of minutes for them to get it done. I have dropped the bike a few times, uh, so they're going to have to do a full inspection on it. So I'm going to be here for a little while. I just figured I'd uh, update you guys and just show you around the place a little bit. It is the only Indian dealer in Krakow. Um, sorry, I shouldn't be staring at the uh, LCD. I was just trying to make sure that you got all of the uh, cool things in frame here. Here we go. They do Indian. They also do some Benelli's, um, Romet, some other brands as well. They do a full service here. Check out the Indian logo behind me. Nice. I didn't even think of that. But uh, yeah, this is this is my dealership, and uh, we're gonna be here for a little bit while I get the uh, service on this bike. Then. Welcome back everybody, it is I, Sean, and uh, just leaving the uh, dealership. That was uh, completely unexpected. I just went there to, to scan it in, but they decided they needed to do a full-on service inspection. So four hours later, I am now leaving the dealership. I mean, my entire day I'm just burnt there. Anyway, I'm starving. So I'm going to go ahead to get something to eat, but unfortunately I don't think I have enough battery left to uh, get you there and, and back. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm just frustrated. Uh, frustrated is the wrong word. Irritated. I feel irritated. Just because this doesn't feel like my bike. It just feels weird. I'm bitching for something I can probably adjust back and get it right back to where I want it, but it's just, I don't know. Like I said, I feel like I'm just bitching for the sake of bitching. I don't know. Could be me. Just me. Anyway, we're here. I will probably not get you on the way back because I definitely don't have the battery for that. Peace. Hey guys, finally out of the dealership. Now at Hilo, trying to get some dinner, late lunch, but I'm over it. I just need to eat and get this day over with. Let me just give you a quick spin around the place. So this is my place that I always come to. When I don't know where else to go, this is the spot. This is my spot to always come to. Comfort food, just always consistent. They just set up a new menu, but they've kept some of the classics on, my classics. But I'm trying some new stuff today. However, we will we will see how this goes. After that dealership visit, I just need something good to happen. Anyway, I'll check with you guys after the video. Peace. <laughs> 